Mobile Legends being able to use Gushun in the game is truly an advantage. We all know that Gushun is one of the best and most difficult heroes to use in the game. I am not a pro in using Gushun, but I know how to use it. And so for today's video, I will teach you some tips and tricks on how to use Gushun effectively. My name is Brian, and this is Yoga Tech Gaming. Using Gushun is not that easy. He can be so difficult for you if you don't usually use him. He is challenging to use because he can also be the best hero in the game. He can be a very good carry in your team if you would know how to play him effectively. So now, we will talk about how to use Gushun properly. We will talk about all the factors that will help you to be good at using him. Let's start with the emblem and spell. If you didn't know what the emblems are for, I would recommend you to watch our video for all the emblems in the game. So you would be familiar with every emblem for each role. I highly recommend the discount emblem when you use Gushun because Gushun is a hero that mostly relies on items. He cannot be a good carry in the game without having to build many items. Always remember that Gushun needs to be ahead all the time. It means you have to farm well in the early game. Aside from that, this emblem configuration will give Gushun additional movement speed that will help him to rotate much faster. For the spell, I highly suggest that you pick Retribution if you use Gushun. It will be beneficial to him if he use Retribution because it will help him succeed in getting buffs and other objectives. Gushun should always go mid lane because we all know that Gushun is a very good hero in terms of rotating and getting the objectives like buff, grabs, and the turtle. Gushun is also a very good killer so it is an advantage if Gushun will go in the mid lane to help his teammates and to kill enemies in the other lanes. And now for the builds. Here are my three different builds that's best for Gushun. Gushun. Items for Gushun are situational, however, there are certain core items needed such as Calamity Reaper and Concentrated Energy. Calamity Reaper will help Gushun to have an extra damage every after he uses a skill. We all know that Gushun throws a lot of skills, that's why it will be very useful to him. And also the Concentrated Energy. This will help Gushun to have magic lifesteal so whenever he will damage enemies using his skills, some HP will be restored. If by chance you're not aware of his uses and you don't know what items to use, we already made videos discussing all the items. Check the link in the description box for easier access. However, items are situational and can be an excellent advantage if you pick the right one that suits your game style. So, we now proceed to the most awaited part, which is the combos. But before anything else, let me discuss Gushun's skills first. His first skills throw a dagger to his specified target. And if you click it again, you will go behind your target. Next, Gushun's second skill throws daggers forward. This skill slow down his target by 2 seconds and clicking it again will recall his daggers. And for his third skill, Gushun dashes to his designated place and will set the first and second skills cooldown. Clicking it again will also give him an extra dash. Every time he uses a skill, a rune will be added to his dagger. After he stack 3 runes, his next basic attack will have an additional damage and will restore some health. And now, let's jump right through his combos. Gushun's combos revolve around his first skill, second skill, and especially the timing. The combo is simple. You just have to make sure that all your thrown daggers, especially the recoil daggers, will hit your target because it deals a lot of damage. So for our first combo is the 1-2-1-2 or 2-1-1-2. It is a case-to-case -case basis. If your enemy is in front of you and your thrown daggers are near your enemy, you must use the 1-2-1-2 or the 2-1-1-2 combo. Let me show it to you. As you will see, the daggers are near your enemy than it is to you. So you have to use the first skill first before recalling your daggers. Because if you recall your daggers first, it will reach you before you reach your enemy. And it will not damage your enemy that much. And now, when your blade is far from your enemy or maybe behind you, you must use the 1-2-2-1 one, two, two, one, or 2-1-2-1 two, one, two, one combo. Let me show it to you. Always remember the proper timing of recalling the daggers because we will use it to our next combos. You can also use the very basic combo for Gushan, the 1-1-2-2. One, one, two, two. This will be effective to enemies with low mobilities and if they are alone. And now for our stream combos. First is the 2-3-2-1-1-2. Two, two, one, one, two. This is like the first combo of 2-1-1-2 but this combo will double the damage because you will use Cushion's second skill twice. So instead of 5 daggers, 10 daggers will hit your enemy if you succeed to use it in proper timing. Again, this combo must be used if your daggers are near your enemy and far from you. Check it out. And if your dagger is near you and far from your enemy, you must use the 2-3-2-1-2-1. You can also use this combo to ambush enemies and kill them in just a second without giving them a hint. You just have to hide in the bush or areas that are not visible to them and cast this combo. And lastly for the tips, always get the blue buff. This will be a very big factor when you use Gushon. Because obviously, Gushon throws a lot of skills and this blue buff will make his cooldown reduction less and the consumption of his mana. Also, kill minion waves and rotate fast. And lastly, dominate the game as early as possible. If you reach level 4, go to the other lanes and try to kill as many heroes as possible. 
And that's it. These are just some tips and tricks on how to use Gushon effectively. But to become this kind of hero, you will definitely need more practice. I hope you learned a lot in this video and if you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yogatech.com gaming for more news, tips, and tricks. This has been Brian and see you again in the next one.